Hey guys, so today I thought I'd do first impressions of a few new skincare goodies I've got over the last few weeks. And uh, I'm going to start out with a toner, uh, the Flax Skin Rice Enzyme Toner, which, uh, and I, I'll have a giveaway for my newsletter, so sign up and I'm going to give away a product from this brand as well as another brand I'm going to mention. Um, so anyway, so I've got clean skin, I just washed it. And I'm going to use a cotton pad. I love these ones from Shiseido, Prepare Cotton Pads. And I'm going to kind of just make a routine out of this because I've got a foundation in the mix and everything. So it's kind of a watery texture. So there you go. Watery yet kind of milky. It looks and reminds me of the um, rice toner from I'm From. And I have a feeling that might be what they're going for because uh, in here we've got rice water, we've got niacinamide, we've got centella, fig fruit extract, oat kernel, ceramides, rice protein, no scent in it, which makes it nice for sensitive skin types. And there we go. Feels very nice. And my neck has been dry. It's getting cold here and it's supposed to snow, which seems weird because we haven't really had snow all year. Well, I guess we had one snowstorm, but anyway. Okay, so that feels nice. And then next up, uh, I've got the, I'm going to also do a giveaway with a product from this brand, Banish. This is their pore shrinker, watermelon toner. I'm not going to use it because I just use the other toner, but in here we've got aloe, watermelon, green tea, ginkgo biloba, sugar cane, and it comes with a uh, applicator like that. So you just press down and it dispenses. So I kind of like these for toning. And then you just put your cotton pad in there and soak it up. Um, it does have a little bit of a scent. I'm trying to figure out if that's from the green tea or the ginkgo, panthenol. It's got lavender. Uh, it looks like lavender extract and then uh, some other goodies. So anyway, so if you haven't signed up for my newsletter, check it out. And uh, anyway, so I'm doing a giveaway. So be sure to sign up for that. Giving away some fun stuff so far. So, okay, next up, I'm going to use this one. The Nemozin Collagen Number 4 Pore Pudding or Pudding Collagen. I'm gonna use this on my neck, which is pretty dry. So it's got a really nice thick texture to it. I will say in the pictures, it almost looks like it's pink, but when you get the bottle, it's not pink. It looks really pretty in the picture they have. And then when you get it, it just looks normal, which is fine. But the pink, the picture with it looking pink was pretty. I like that. Okay. There we go. Very dry neck. So it feels really nice. And in there, we've got, uh, let's see, we've got collagen extract, grape extract, peptides. So very nice. I will say fragrance is the last ingredient in this product. I don't notice any scent whatsoever. And I actually didn't realize until I went to do my first impressions of this that it had fragrance in it. Uh, after been testing it off and on, I don't notice any scent. So uh, anyway, so if you're very sensitive, keep that in mind. But yeah, I didn't notice it at all. So I'm not going to complain. Uh, okay, next up, Peach and Lily, they've come out with a couple new products. Well, they came out with a couple new products recently and then more new products. So uh, anyway, so they came out with a barrier pair serum. And then this one is their Super Oasis Concentrated Serum. And in here, we've got red ginseng, we've got marula oil, we've got mushroom, we've got purslane, we've got watermelon. And this stuff is really nice. I've been testing it out now for a little bit. It's got a, just a really wonderful gel texture. It soaks in really nicely. It works great in my morning or evening routines, which is nice. There we go. It just kind of soaks in pretty quickly and feels nice, non-greasy, non-sticky. Yeah, my skin really likes it. So, so far so good. I'm a big fan of the ingredients in here. And it just feels really nice. So I could see how this would work well for oily or dry skin because it's got that nice gel texture. And once it soaks in, it feels really nice. So... And their other new product is their Ultra Plush Rich Cream, right? Ultra Plus Rich Cream, which is from the same line. So this one's got also, it's got the red ginseng, it's got the marula oil, uh, it's got the mushroom, purslane, watermelon, all those good things that were in the serum. The serum also has polyglutamic acid and beta-glucan, so that's nice. So I've got my little spatula here handy because they used jar packaging, which... I'm not crazy about the jar packaging, but I get it. Okay. And then I've got one more moisturizer. So I might, maybe I'll just use this one on my forehead. And then I can use the other moisturizer elsewhere. So this stuff is really pretty. I mean, it looks like 
it looks like strawberry flavored um, yogurt or something like that. So, okay, so here I've got a little bit on the end of my spatula. Feels really nice. There we go. Feels very nice, calming, hydrating, not greasy feeling, not sticky. Really nice, really nice finish. So there we go with that one. Pleasantly surprised so far with what Peach and Lily's been putting out so far this year. And uh, I've got one more moisturizer and that's the Inky List. What do they call this? It's got a really long name. The Bioactive Ceramide Repairing and Plumping Moisturizer and Barrier Strengthening. So, yeah. So the main stars of the show in here, we've got shea butter and then ceramides. And I'm going to put this on the rest of my face that I didn't put that moisturizer. And you can check this out. There we go. Oh, that doesn't do. I put a little ring light on my phone now. So, so it kind of interferes a little bit. I don't know what to do. Anyway. Okay, so I'm going to take a little spatula and get some of this off. There we go. Maybe, let me know. Do you like the ring light or not? I always thought this part of my face looks kind of dark when I record in here, so I got the ring light. But, I don't know. Maybe it's not the best idea. Oh, good. Very nice texture of this one. Not greasy. Very creamy. No scent, which is nice. And if you guys want me to do a detailed review of any of these, let me know and I can do that. So there we go. I'll do a little bit over my jawline. Because it's been getting pretty dry. There we go. By the time I got home yesterday after doing everything, my my foundation that I'd used that day was like cracking and peeling. It just looked terrible. I'm like, did I walk around like that all day? Because I'd been using a little bit more uh, retinoids than I typically have been. I've been adding them in a little bit more, maybe a little bit too much. So my skin was not happy with that. Okay, then I've got a couple foundations to talk about. I'm gonna put sunscreen on quick first, really quick. I'm gonna go with uh, the Tatcha sunscreen. They've updated the packaging for this finally, which is good because the current packaging flakes off and then it peels and then you end up with glitter on your face and People complained about it, so they finally fixed it. So the formula of their new sunscreen is the same, it's just better packaging. Although this packaging was pretty, but I'm more about function. I like pretty, but when it's flaking and peeling off, I'm more about function. Or make it affordable. So you can kind of see on this one where it's starting to peel and flake. A lot of people what they did was just put tape around theirs before they even started using it, which was smart because once it starts peel, it's all over. Okay. So there we got that. Okay, so I've got two foundations to talk about really quick. So about face, this is their called their Performer Skin Focus Foundation, and I like it. Um, what I disliked about it, so it's a very light coverage foundation. What I dislike about it is the applicator. It's just not very friendly, uh, especially if you use like a beauty blender, then you have dabbing it and then smearing it. And it just, it's overall though, it's nice. Uh, here, I'll do a little swatch. I'm not gonna use it because I wanna cover up my melasma a little bit better today. So it smooths into skin really nicely. The shade I have is, let's see, F2 Cool. But I just don't like the applicator. It makes it not very friendly to use. And it's super light. So if you're looking for a light coverage foundation, it's a nice option. Um, so then the other one I picked up was the Kosas BB Burst Foundation, which they sold me. So it's called the Kosas BB Burst Tinted Moisturizer Gel Cream with Copper Peptides. They sold me with the copper peptides instantly. When they, you know, when you say you got copper peptides, I get excited. So this one's definitely a medium coverage foundation. I'm going to put it on with my Beauty Blender. And the shade I picked up is 13. Light, cool, 13. And uh, anyway, it's always hard to pick a good one. So there it is on my little palette. Now I'm gonna put it on with my Beauty Blender, which needs to be washed. And then I've got one more product after that, so. 
So I kind of just dot it and then I smear it. Dot and smear. So I'd say this one's a medium coverage foundation. So if it had sunscreen, it would do everything. You know what I mean? If it had sunscreen in it, that'd be like a moisturizer, a sunscreen, and a skincare product. I need a little bit more. Hang on. But I do like it. Some people on a review said they didn't like the scent of it, but I didn't notice any smell of it whatsoever. I don't really notice any specific fragrance ingredients in it. So um, anyway, it just really doesn't have any smell to it. So there we go. Feels nice and light enough, but coverage enough to kind of even things out. So let me wipe my lips up. I just hate that feeling of like foundation on your mouth. Your lips. Okay, I'm gonna quick set it with my last backup of the Your Soft and Focus Hydrate and Set Powder. Because once I set it with it, it looks really good, I think. So I just opened up a new pack or a new one. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I hope they don't discontinue, but it's not like in half the stores that used to sell it anymore. So it's probably time I should buy one more backup because I do like this one. There we go. Okay. That feels good and light and evens everything out. So I'm happy. Okay, last one I got is the Dr. Cirical Vegan Active Berry Lip Oil, which from uh, Dr. Cirical is not my favorite line. It's a little scented. They have an eye cream, a moisturizer, and a toner. They're all a little scented, but the lip oil has no taste to it whatsoever. So I was very surprised by that. So here we go. It's got a kind of a funny shaped applicator which ends up working okay. And feels nice. So in here we've got jojoba seed oil, we've got grape seed oil, turmeric, and then resveratrol. So feels really nice and glossy, nice finish, I like it. So yeah, so that's some fun new stuff. So I also picked up the Versed Retinoid Eye Balm, which I've been playing with, which isn't really the greatest for uh, daytime daytime product because it's got some retinoids in there, sunflower seed, um, vitamin E. So next time I do a first impressions, I'll do this one. So um, there you go. Uh, check out my newsletter if you haven't already. I'll be doing a giveaway again every week. So this week I think is a polish choice, 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. And then next week I'll have some goodies from um, Banish and also Commune brand, which is a newer brand to me. So be sure to check that out. Leave a comment with any products you want to see a full review of. And I will see you guys more tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye guys.